My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. Coming in hot for 2024, we have an upgraded cot from One Tigress. According to the company, this is easier to put together than the previous version, and at the same time, it's also more stable. As far as stability goes with the older version, I never had an issue, but when it came time to put the cot together, there was an issue there, and that's because putting the bracer bars into place with the previous cot required a lot of strength. So hopefully there's a big difference with the setup process when it comes to this new version. With that being said, everyone, let's go ahead, let's begin. Let's take a look at the brand new 2024 One Tigress Cot. When you're looking at the storage bag here, this is a very big change from the previous version. The previous version was quite long, somewhat narrow. This is very short and stubby. It looks more like a duffel bag than anything else. You have a grab handle up at the top. You also have a shoulder strap. Here we have a zipper to open it up. On the inside here, we have frame pole number one, frame pole number two. We have 12 cot legs. Here we have the cot cloth. And lastly, we have three bracer bars. Additionally, on the inside of the storage bag here, we have setup and breakdown instructions. We are looking at the underside of the cot here, and I'm sure you've noticed this. This is a mesh pouch, basically that hangs underneath the cot, so you can stow blankets, gear, and so on underneath the cot. To assemble this cot, we need to take the support bars and put them together. These are shock corded. That makes the process much quicker. Once you have the supports ready, you go to the end of the cot cloth that has these pull loops. Next to those loops, we have an opening. This is the opening that you insert the supports through. Now we need to move on to the bracer bars. Undo the Velcro strap and put them together. When it comes to the ends, these are non-detachable. They are fixed in place, in other words. That's a smart idea, actually. And that's because with the previous version, these brackets, these braces were adjustable. You can actually pull them out and rotate them. And if you did it incorrectly when you attached the bars, the cot would not set up correctly. And that did cause some problems. Now it's time to attach the bracer bars. To start, we need to release the tensioner. There's only one of these on each of the bracer bars. When you come over to the cot to attach the bracer bars, you push it down and lock it onto the pole, and then come over to the other side and put the little cup over the pole, and then lock it into place just like that. Now that we have the three bracer bars attached to the support bars, we're good to go. With this cut here, there's two ways to set this up, with legs and without legs. With this setup here, this cut is 74.8 inches long. It is 27.5 inches wide, and it stands six inches off of the ground. When I'm on this cot, I can tell you all it is very comfortable. At the same time, it's a little bit bouncy, almost like a trampoline. It's definitely got more bounce to it than any other cot I've ever used before. And that makes it a little bit more comfortable, to be honest. It's not quite as rigid. I mean, it, it just flexes that little bit, and that does make it more comfortable. Now that I'm on this cot here, a question I do have is whether or not it's tipsy-turvy. With the previous version, if you got close to the edge, it would just flip over. And that is not the case with this cot here. This really is more stable than the previous version. Oh, 
Unfortunately, attaching the legs is a slow process. Each one of these legs has a push tab post that basically has to be locked into place. Having to push down that post before inserting it, it definitely slows you down. I really wish the company didn't go this route. The previous version was quite a bit better. Basically, it had spring-loaded tensioners where you could just take the pole and push it in. And the tension on those springs would basically hold it into place, but you could still just push it in and also pull it out. Here, you have to put it in the hole, push down that rod, and then lock it into place. To remove one of these legs, you have to push in that locker and then pull out. It's not a big deal, it just slows you down. In this mode, the top of the cot is the exact same, but it is higher up off of the ground. So again, we're looking at a cot that is 74.8 inches long, 27 and a half inches wide, and it stands 15.7 inches off of the ground. It's very comfortable, still springy, like bouncy, just a little bit, not enough to make you sick but you could tell that the entire system is flexing with you and your weight. The previous version of this cot did not do that. It was extremely rigid. Now it's time to go over some stats, my friends, and then I'll share with you all my impressions of this cot as a whole. I'll summarize them. This cot is available in one color, and you're looking at it, coyote brown only at the time of filming. The fabric material is a 300 denier polyester. The frame is a 7075 aluminum. When it's stored, it's an impressive 16.9 inches long by 7.1 inches by 9.8 inches. The weight limit for this cot is 330 pounds and it weighs 9.4 pounds. Lastly, the retail price is $129, but at the time of filming on Amazon, there's a 15% off coupon. It may or may not be there when you go look at it, but at the time of filming, it's there. Now it's time for me to go over my impressions of this cot so far. As far as quality goes, this feels like a very premium product. The stitching, the construction, everything here is perfect. At the same time, there's enough changes where this does feel new, especially when it comes to like the stored size. I've never seen a cot of this size fit in a storage bag that small. That is truly different. Again, most cots have a storage bag, you know, that's at least seven or eight inches longer than that one there. So without a doubt, that's impressive. And again, that storage bag almost looks like a duffel bag. I do not see any loose threads or anything like that on this cot. It is very well made. As far as setting up this cot, it is faster but yet slower than the previous version. As far as putting the frame together, that's easier, especially with like the bracer bars. But when it comes to the legs, you do have to worry about pushing in those studs and locking them into place. And then to remove those legs, you got to reverse that process. That takes more time. So is this quicker to set up than the previous version? I would say no. Is it easier? I would say yes. Attaching the bracer bars to the supports, that is definitely easier. It doesn't require as much strength. And I believe that's because the frame system and the material itself stretches more. There's a little bit more of a stretch of a flex to this system, which translates to more comfort. And that's important. Plain and simple, it's more comfortable than the previous version. Next, my friends, this is without a doubt more stable than the previous version, especially when you're in mode one. When you're close to the ground, you're trying to get up, you're rotating around, moving around. It's definitely more stable than the outgoing model. With the outgoing model, you would have to be careful not to flip the entire thing. With this one here, it's very solid and it's not going to be easy to flip. We do have an integrated pocket that's sewn to the side of the cot. It's useful, there's two sleeves there, you can put your phone in it, battery charger, so on and so forth. Underneath, we have the mesh caddy. That too is going to be useful, especially for storing gear, blankets, pillows, so on and so forth. When it comes to weight, this cot is quite heavy, especially when you compare this to other cots that are out on the market today. This weighs almost 10 pounds, and that's about three pounds heavier than most cots. Ultimately though, does weight matter with a product like this? This is not made for backpacking or anything like that, so what's three pounds? Only you can answer that question. Lastly, folks, when it comes to price, this is very competitive with other cots that are out on the market today. For an example, the Army Wildcot from Nature Hike, 
that's 120 this is 129 plus the 15 percent off discount on amazon if it's present when this video goes up i do need to say this though and i think you all will find this funny helinox has a version of this cot that looks very very similar to this it's even made from basically the same materials but get this their version costs 450 dollars 129 450 bucks i know which one i would personally purchase and with that being said everyone i am done all in all this is a TikTok upgrade when it comes to the previous version the changes here are for the most part a good thing the legs though they definitely slow you down but all in all this is going to be a good cot i'm sure of that i'm going to begin testing this out and in the future if i have any sort of issues i will do an updated video but as it stands, I expect to have no problems with this product here. It looks to be comfortable. The design is almost the same as the outgoing version, but without a doubt, it's more stable, especially in mode one. The storage bag is awesome. And the way that the company has made the entire package, stored package, smaller, there's a benefit there. You can easily stow this inside of your vehicle and it's not going to take up as much space as the outgoing model. And there you have it, everyone. Those are my thoughts concerning this cot. What are yours? Comment down below, share your thoughts. What do you all think? Did the company do enough to justify bringing out a new version of this cot? Sound off down below. Before you go, hit the thumbs up. It does help the channel. Also, make sure to check out my second YouTube channel. It is called A Quiet Place Adventures. Every single week, a brand new adventure, just like on this channel here. But with that channel there, it's only adventures and nothing else. Take care, folks. Be well. Strength and honor. Bye for now.